around Milford Gulf. Yeah, if they don't head for the river. Beautiful, beautiful. That's kicky. Nice, nice. Love it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, love it. I, I don't know what else to do. How are you doing it? You're doing Wait, 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 wait. I'm not going to wait. I don't want any more. What do you think this is? A movie <laughs> camera? <laughs> A nice close-up for the big, fat hat. I got an idea. What? I think it's about time you fix the king a little lunch. I think you're right. Okay. Oh. I'll have uh, four omelets. Listen. Yeah, sounds like Wild Mustang. Yeah? I gotta get this. See you later at the barn. Kevin's holding his own. 
Why don't you sit in the waiting room? I think you'd be more comfortable there. Oh, yes, thank you. It's right down the hall. I'll let you know if I hear anything. Okay, thank you. Mm. Poor little tire. Yeah. What do we hear? Some good tire prints. A motorcycle there, 400 by 19s. Oh, it's a heavy bike. And there were horse tracks all around. Some steel shards, some without. Could have been someone running a wild herd. Well, we picked this up right about where we found Kevin Wallet. There's a bunch more camera equipment back by the camper. This thing here looked like it had been run over by the sickle. Hmm. What do you suppose we have? Some Mustangers who panicked when they saw somebody taking their picture? Could be. Maybe we got ourselves a picture of a Mustanger. And maybe a murderer. Not that there's much difference. Which one of you shot that dude? One of us? You think one of us did it? I mean, we thought it was you. You thought wrong. Yeah, I guess we did it that. Must have been happier Wilbur then. The camera was bad news. That fellow showed them pictures to the sheriff. We'd been in heavy trouble. Sort of like getting your picture took holding up a liquor store. This county thinks a lot of its sheriff. A man called Cade. You know a mule? Well, I spent some drunk time in his jail. Never saw Cade, though. Met a prospector, said he saw Macho, north ways, near Gold Peak. Gold Peak, huh? My price still holds on him. On my way, I can be there by first light. A mule, no mustanging. Until you check out Gold Peak. I don't care how big the herd is. Yes, sir. I understand, Mr. Mitty. It's Macho you want. Macho, I want. No visiting yet. Right. Lona, um, Kevin is out of surgery. You can see him just as soon as he comes out of recovery, okay? Shame, Bobby Lona. No. I've been sitting here feeling sorry for myself. Kevin's in there fighting for his life, and I said he was scared to death because I've never been away from home before, and because I don't know anybody in Madrid except you and two deputies. Oh, no, wait a minute. You may know more people than you think. You may have more friends than you think. You know, Rudy spoke to his sister, and she'd like you to stay with her until Kevin's out of the hospital. Mm. No, no. No, but I, I'm okay. It's silly. I'm over it. It's all settled. Thank you. It's just that Kevin's always been there. I mean, I, I've known him since I was five years old. We've gone together since seventh grade. There's never been anybody else in my whole life. How much do you remember, Ilona, of what went on out there? And what else did you hear? Horses. A lot of them. What about a motorcycle? No. Maybe. I saw some men. On horseback? Yes. One or two, maybe. I, I don't remember. Why did they try to kill him? For taking snapshots. They're Mustangers. It's a very serious offense around here. And those snapshots that you say, 
They might mean one year to life imprisonment for those men. But Kevin never intended anybody any harm. Right. Now, come on. There's nothing for you to worry about or think about. Just, just Kevin. We're here to help, so you just, uh, you use us if you need us. Sam, he can't die. He just can't stop. <laughs> Lots of bikes. A lot won't do, J.J. We got to narrow it down. I want the name of every dealer in the state. I want no, wait a minute. I want the name of every dealer in the state who handles them. Save that for the bad guy. Who are the bad guys? You know, the time was people go camping in this county without being shot at. That's for sure. Well, if it's time was that you want to swap, time was when you could ride two hours out of Madrid here and see four or five herds of wild mustang running free and pretty without any relay riders chasing after him to drive him into the cannon factory. You know whoever took these knows how to handle a camera. You got a face? Well, just that one and a partial. They're both the same guy. Any more negative than this? We have about eight more that'll print up, but those are the only ones with riders. If I'm not mistaken, those eyes were house guests here one night. Eyes? If I got the right man, he was wearing a full beard. Why does the name you come to mind? Well, it could be a nickname, you know. D and D's, I think. Well, why don't we look him up? Mule. Frank Mule Mueller. You were right about the drunk and disorderly. Yeah, charged along with Happy Tillotson. Pete, how close was the camera when those pictures were taken? Well, he used a 50 millimeter lens, I'd say 30, 40 feet at the most. Oh. Well, then we just got a Mustang or two. Not an attempted murder. How do you figure that out? Well, the report said that the bullet traveled at least 200 yards. Look out, maybe? Mm, yeah. He saw Kevin Wallach with a camera and shot him. So how do we play it? APB on Mueller and his Tillotson? No, you'll spook whoever did the shooting and set him to running. You know, most of these Mustangs are small time, you know. They, they hit and run six to eight horses at a time. Right off the range into the pet food cannery. Mm. I wonder who's buying. I suppose they're taking them across the border. Sam, I think I know where I can get an answer to if we can get the county to spring for a 60-mile round trip. Mm. Well, J.J., that would mean $7.50. Well, take it out of my, my pension. pension. <laughs> <laughs> Father Segovia has got to be over 90. My grandmother dated him before he went into the priesthood. He doesn't act today over 70, and he's fit at a fiddle. He's quite a man, huh? Hey, listen, uh, you drive, will you? J.J., I'm beat. You know, there wasn't hardly any Anglo kids around here when he first put up his church. That's when they found out the Padre meant father. Oh, they started calling him Papa, right? Yeah. You get the rear tree line on this thing? Uh, just drag your feet if we have to stop, J.J. We'll make out, all right. When you get the brakes fixed, you ought to get that gearbox straightened out, too. remember how it was done in the old days. The manada, the herd of horses, no man could catch them. So they would do what they called... Uh, Relays, Papa. Yeah, uh, see? Right. One man would ride, the second would wait. Yeah. With three men, it was possible to box a Mustang in the canyon. Sit down. We think that's what this bunch is doing, Papa. Muy primitivo. Today, they chase him with a heli chopper. <laughs> well, this is a... This is probably a very small operation, you know, one van load of horses at a time. Yeah, they're probably moving them during off hours and nobody will notice. Yeah. What about the Pecos cannery? They sell horse meat as pet food, don't they? Yeah, and they say they do. Oh. Where are they getting the horses? Hmm. Wild horses are almost extinct in this valley and the hills for 10 years. Maybe more. But still, they are ranchers supplying. Oh, well, we'd better get moving. Thank you for your time, Papa Segovia. Oh. Bueno. Thank you, Papa.
Oh, by the way, J.J. was telling me that you were kind of sweet on his grandmother before you entered the priesthood. Grandmother? Yeah. No, no, hi, hi. It was your mother. <laughs> for me. Sam. I think Kevin Wallach's going sour on me. But he's conscious now, and I figure he deserves a shot at telling you anything he might know. Hmm. Well, what room is he in? 104. Keep it to a minute, Sam. File that moment, please. It's Dr. Ganby. Give me an outside line. said that you saw some riders. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, now here's a picture that was taken by your husband. Now, this is a picture taken from our files of the same man, but in this one he has a beard, you see. Right? Now, this is a picture of a man named Happy Tillotson. Now, this man could have been with those riders the day your husband was shot. I don't know. Nothing. Well, don't worry about it. Rudy getting you all squared away? Yeah. Good. His sister's been very nice. Sam, all this is gonna cost a lot of money, and I, I, I'd like to get a job here in Madrid. I mean, Kevin's gonna be here a long time, and, and I... Yeah, well, what work have you done? Well, I, I've waited tables. I... Okay. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to take this to Mr. John Kilroy. He's over at the steakhouse. You know where that is, don't you? And you give it to him. And I'll call him before you're there. Right? Thank you, Sam. Now, listen, don't you try paying Rudy and his sister for what they're doing, because they don't expect anything. You hear? Okay, thank you. Don't we'll match on the tires there, J.J. Those were 425 by 18s. Did you get a load of that? My old grandmother used to always say, a man just thinks he's seen everything. You sure when your mama said that? Sam Kate had a big mouth. How about it, J.J.? You want to pack it in and get something to eat? But out here half a day, you only seen three bikes. Yeah, I expect. Rudy's probably... You're not checking mufflers, Deputy. No, sir. We're just checking. Mm -hmm. uh, you always carry this thing with you? Yeah, why? Is there a law against it? Well, I just wondered what you want to use it for. 
Well, my name is Minty, Deck Minty. Maybe you've heard of me. No, I can't say the hair. Hey, that thing ain't loaded, is it? No, I'll, sh I'll show you. I got me an axe. Yeah, well, you better watch out how you handle that thing. Okay. Oh, that sure was dumb. Dumb. I never in the world thought there was a cartridge in that chamber. It's okay, folks. Just a little accident's all. It's all right. I'm supposed to be a professional. I'm supposed to be a doggone expert with this rifle. I sure do apologize. Well, I guess there was no harm done. Well, I'm glad of that. Did you get anything off those tires? Nope, wrong size. You think we ought to be grateful he didn't pick off the mayor. Hey, what's this about you riding the, this machine in rodeos? Well, that's right. Been doing it now for about six years. I'd like to hear about it. Care to have a cup of coffee with us? My pleasure. I've got the minute out pretty good, Mr. Gilroy. Good. You keep the coffee cups filled, and you're halfway home to a satisfied customer. <laughs> oh, uh, Alana. Yes, sir. I want you to remember that if the hospital calls, you just take right off. You can explain later. Thank you. There you go. You're on the payroll. After Wyoming, we took the act to the Calgary Stampede. It was different, flashy. You know, uh, roping a steer from a motorcycle. My brother did his bit to mount it, but personally, I don't have any useful horses. I'd rather saddle a Brahma. That's quite a machine you got out there. Yeah. I, um, I put a lot of losing time as a kid on horses, so I switched to motorcycles. Oh, and that's my kid brother. Loved horses. Loved them. Loved all the outdoors. Going with you in town? No. We saw this big black stallion last April. Owen thought that uh, it might jazz up the axe, so we called him. Knowing the law? One lousy horse. Come on, a lot of operations all over this territory. They're just selling those animals for dog food. <clears throat> we'll keep on, Mr. Minnie. We even had a name for him, Macho. Owen was going to break him, except it turned out the other way around. Third time up, that stud bucked Owen into the rail. My kid brother racked up for life. What'd you say the name was? Macho. Mucho Virilidad. You know, strong. It fit. We thought it'd look good on the posters. Well, there you are. I guess we were wrong, Arlo. That fellow must have been telling the truth when he said a man gave him a 10 for spotting that wild stallion. What man are you talking about, deputy? Uh, Mule, I think. Yeah, Mule Mueller. Who else did you make that offer to? The drifters. You know, a couple of hippies, prospectors, a lot of people in this territory, deputy. Them tens are hard to come by, Mr. Benny. Not with these. Deck Mini, that's the name. This is the reason. Well, we gotta get going. We'll see you. slug through ballistics. Same as he wanted us to see if the tires didn't match our plaster cast. <laughs> hey, you owe me a dollar ten for lunch. Miss? Yes, sir. Sir, is there anything I can get you? lot of good planning, J.J. Well, credit where credit's due. What do you think, Arlo? Well, he talks real smooth, but I gotta throw him with J.J. The man's a professional with that rifle, and he wasn't making no mistake. Yeah. He probably got the original tires off that bike hid somewhere, along with the rifle he used on the Wallach boy. Yeah, so he is our man. Where's our case?
This does it. If Dexter Minty checked out any cleaner, we'd have to build a statue for him. No arrests. Not even a moving traffic violation. Anything else? He was staying over at the old Barker Ranch, not far from Rimrock. Mm. I just talked to the hospital up in Pueblo. Owen Minty is a patient there. He's paralyzed. Sam, hmm? we just got the ballistics report. That slug we cut out of the signboard don't match the one that Dr. Gamby took out of Kevin Wallach. You called it, J.J. I don't know. Minty's got a rifle, we know that, and a motorcycle. But I don't see how it ties him up to Kevin uh, Wallach. Now look here, Rudy. Minty jumped like a scalded dog when I dropped Mule's name. Now somebody put those bike tracks around Kevin Wallach's body. How many acres do you suppose there are in that Rimrock Canyon area? Around two, three thousand. And I'd have to say that Deck Minty and Frank Mueller were on one of those two thousand acres when the Wallach boy was shot. Uh, that's a guess, not evidence. We're not in court yet, Rudy. If Minty was after Wallach, what's it got to do with mustanging? The Rodeo Association tells me that Deck Minty hasn't worked in six months. Now, what is he using for money? Selling mustangs. Or card games. <laughs> card games. Uh, Deck Minty has done a pretty fair job of filling in the holes. There's a warrant out on you, Mule. Me? <laughs> For what? Sheriff Cade figures you're the one to kill that dude. Me? But I didn't do it. You're lucky. I'm the kind of man who feels an obligation for anybody that works for me. Here's 200. That ought to hold you over till things cool off. Now, head north. Keep to the back country. Try to get some sleep. Try that old line shack near Skull Valley. But, Minnie, I didn't have it. Move. Thing. Cade's about a half step behind me. And it was Mule that shot the guy. Yeah, it looks that way. <laughs> you know something? I figured it was you. No. No, Maria, it's, it, it's just a torn tendon. You can pick him up in an hour. Yeah. Let's take care of this one, will you? You wanted to tell me something? I lost him. Kevin Wallach. Where's his wife? Still in his room. Okay. J.J., uh, listen, I want you to get a hold of the state police and send them over to the Pickles plant. There should be a van showing up there very soon. Mustang? Yeah, that's what I figure. Sam, you know you and me could be there inside an hour. Uh, uh, listen, J.J., I have, I have a lot of other things to do. Uh, Kevin Wallach just died. So now we have a Mustanger and a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> the 
dollar bill. You told Kate I gave it to you. No, 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 it's okay. I can't depend on what you'll tell him next. seen some buzzards over an old line shack above a Royal Road. Hey, let an old turkey buzzard smell a little blood and he follow his nose anywhere. It's Frank Mueller, J.J. You sure? Yeah, looks like he got himself bushwhacked. Hey, his rifle's been fired, too, so we'll poke around some, see what he hit. Yeah, what's your 1020? I'll get the coroners rolling. Uh, it's about eight-tenths of a mile south of State 19 on a Royal Road. Hey, J.J., the state police pick up on that truck down by Pecos? No, somebody must have spooked him. Blame shame. Sheriff's office. Harlow, Kevin Wallach just died. I didn't think you'd know. I gotta go with Sam's checking in. Yeah, three out. Poor fellow. You know what Minnie's gonna say when he finds out we didn't make it all the way to Pecos, don't you? I can imagine. haven't told me is who does the paying. Mister, up to a couple of hours ago, I didn't even know you was alive. He did. Now, what does that mean? Madrid jail about a year ago last August. You and Mule were drying out in the cell opposite mine. Well, you didn't have a beard then. Mule did. <laughs> He's right. Then why don't you give him a trophy? If you're from around these parts, it isn't likely you know the boss. Because huh? he's, uh... Happy? Well, ain't no big deal, Wilbur. If I want to mention a name, I will. Anyhow, he, uh, worked up north mostly from what I can figure. Mueller did all... And the word is, we don't mention his name. Remember? Now, he never spent no time in jail with that joker. And even if I had, they don't change our arrangement. Now, who we work for, we don't cross. No way. You got that? They all sleep real good now. You hear? So Mueller shot Kevin Wallach and then got himself killed, huh? Yeah, it doesn't leave us much unless we want to try a dead man. You know what hangs me up? Mueller's print should have been all over the barrel and stock of that rifle. Maybe he just cleaned it. Or somebody wiped it clean. Well, I'll tell you this. 
If someone did wipe it clean, he forgot one thing. We got a beauty of a thumbprint off one of the shell casings. Not Frank Mueller's? Nope. We're running it down now. Well, I've seen that stud horse macho. Where? Just over the ridge of Three Trees Canyon. Oh, what's the deal? Well, a boss got a burr under his saddle about this one Mustang, calls him macho, and he's willing to pay and pay good You're to the man. Keep mouthing off, or you will get the boss. I'm gonna go get him. Nothing but coffee all day. Well, I sure got a hand it to Deck Minty. He bought an awful lot of loyalty for very little money. Yeah. Oh, I knew he was after the horse. But I needed somebody to testify about the Mustang. Mm -hmm. You're Cade, ain't you? Three Trees Canyon, huh? We've got to get out of the Barker Ranch. Where's Arlo? I expect you'd be taking Kevin home now, huh? No. Neither one of us got anything to go back for. Kevin loved this town. People, the country. Uh, you know, Arlo, I don't... I don't think there are many places like Madrid anymore. People like Sam Cade and and you and JJ and Rudy. Kevin would have appreciated everything. I know I do. Yeah. I think we'll stay. into Three Trees Canyon. It's right near that old corral. I'd uh, offer to show you, but I figured you'd like to do that for yourself. Yeah, you're probably thirsty. Hey, Dollface. Let's start the celebration off with a beer. <laughs> Mr. Kilroy. <laughs> Forget it, Arlo. Any time. Arlo. Arlo, there's a man here. I, I think he's one of the men I saw the day Kevin was shot. Nothing. Just gonna say, sundown flashed us. Harlow picked up Happy Tillotson. Deck Mendy's on his way to Three Trees Canyon. And what are we doing here?
think you can still sit a horse like that. Next in TV land, L.A.'s heroic paramedics come to the rescue on Emergency from executive producer Jack Webb. You're correct. Stay tuned. underground looking at my lords good hand looking at my lords my lord This is for you, Big Cassini. Run away quick. Careful. It's all right. Just have a gun. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Have that. Now let me have the cash. Just the cash you got Take in the bag. Take That'd be pretty. Just be careful with that. Yeah, you can have just let me you have want. it. You got any more, boy? That's all. No, that's all. Well, thank you very much. Now, good day to you. Come on. Yeah. Yeah.
What happened? You're not going to believe it. Try me. There was a guy on horseback wearing a mask. A man on horseback wearing a mask? Yeah, he, uh, he had a shotgun. And he said, give me all your money, which I did. $30,000 he took. And uh, well, he just rode off. You're kidding. No. There's, there was a man on horseback. Now, I'm telling the truth, I swear it. That's going to take some believing. Put up a roadblock, seal off the area. I did all that, Sam, but I don't know if it'll do any good. All right, take a look around here. Fellas didn't leave by plane. They gotta leave tracks. Mm. Well, up there, Arlo. Up there. Oh, hoof marks around here. Sam, whatever it was, was shot from up here. There's gunpowder burns all over the place up here. All right. Where are you going? I do a little old-fashioned horse tracking. Check every military base in the area for stolen ordnance. Get an artist to do a sketch matching the driver's description of the rider. Celsa. Billy, is it you? You're not sure? It's been such a long time. Eleven years. But I spent a lot of time thinking about what I was going to do when I cut out. I guess you did too, huh? How did you find me? It wasn't hard. I heard they made you give up the place. Yes, I, I just couldn't keep up the payments. Well, I'm here now. I'm going to take care of them people. I hear, uh... I hear you've been seeing somebody else. Yes. I'm going to take care of that, too. <laughs> Billy, it's all over with us. The divorce... I filed. Is it final yet? N no. Well, the way I figured is me and you still married. It wasn't good 11 years ago. It won't work now. Billy. Billy, where did you... What is this? This is the equalizer, Celsa. This here says that you and me is the same as anybody anywhere. $30,000. Billy, I don't want your money. I don't want it. I don't blame you for the way you wear. I, I just don't want to be part of it anymore. Hi, Mama. How are you? His name is Gabriel. Hello, Gabriel. Fine looking boy. How old are you? About 11. About 11, huh? Well, you... You're a pretty big fella for 11. Go wash up, huh? He's a fine-looking boy. He never said nothing. Billy, I, I just did what I thought was best for, for his sake. For his sake, huh? That boy got a daddy and you don't even bother to tell him. Is there anything in particular about you that you would be proud for him to know? Billy, Billy, I'm going to marry someone else. All I want is a piece of quiet for that boy and me. Please just let, let us have that. Please, please just go away, Billy. Sure. You're trying to turn that boy against me. You and Big Casino. Trying to turn that boy against his own daddy.
looks to me to be an alloy from the head fuse of an anti-tank rocket. About 2.36, I'd put it. It's a bazooka. Yeah, probably an M9. It's got a range up to 150 yards. She'll penetrate three inches of armor plate, eight inches of masonry, or nine inches of timber. Yeah. It's like a hot knife through butter. Psst. I know. Oh, uh, Rudy. Yes, sir. Uh, check the army base. No reports of any ordnance stolen. What about uh, horse trailers? We stopped a lot of them, but they all check out. No bazookas, no money, nobody fitting the description. I see. All right. Look, this cowboy, whoever he is, either purchased that bazooka illegally or got it from somebody who did. Now check out all the weapons import sources, dealers, gun shops, collectors, and dig into any hobby or sportsman shows in the area that might have weapons on exhibition. Right. Arlo, did you get that artist's sketch? Yeah, sure did, J.J. Ought to be real easy to round up that cracker. All we got to do is call in old Wider for help us out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> taken from her house by her husband. I'm Sheriff Kay. Would you care to tell me what happened? Billy was in jail for 11 years. He just came back. Billy? It's Billy Dobbs. You know him? Yeah, I thought your face looked familiar. I saw you at the trial, didn't I? My little boy. My Gabriel. You'll get him back, won't you? We'll get him back. Billy came to the house. I told him it was all over with us. Gabriel came in. I never told Billy about Gabriel. I, I didn't want the boy to know his father was in jail. I, I, I know it was wrong. I was going to tell him. I was just waiting, waiting for a sign from God, you know. So Billy got angry and took the boy. Is that it? I don't know where he is, what he's going to do. I was so scared. He said he was going to get back at someone. He had plans. Well, now, we'll do everything we can, Mrs. Dobbs, but you must remember that Gabriel is, is his son, too. And uh, somehow I don't think he's going to harm him. Okay? Ma'am, we're going to ask you to give one of our men a description of Billy and Gabriel. Yeah, we'll put it on the wire right away, okay? Thank you. Sam? Okay, get right on it, huh? Here you go. State prison sending everything they have on Billy Dobbs. All right, you talk to Mrs. Dobbs and get a full description and then put out an APB. Notify the Mexican authorities and the Border Patrol. So he wanted to get back at somebody. Wonder who that could be. That might be anybody. Including me. Owen McCann caught him robbing his safe and turned him in. Yeah, I know. Maybe we better give Owen a phone call. Yeah. Hey, Rudy? Anything yet on that armored car hijacker? Not a thing. He's holed up someplace where he got through. Miss Dobbs, what do you got here? That's a list of the gun collectors in the county. Right. Yeah, man, there's quite a few here. Yeah, it's like a needle in a haystack trying to find a missing bazooka. Well, at least there's something to start with. What's that? Paul Jeffries, age 29, Millersburg, arrested three years ago for possession of illegal weapons. 
Yeah. to come barging in there like this? Ed Warren says we do. I haven't done anything. I'm not a criminal. Well, you know, J.J., it's times like this that I, I wonder just who we're paid to protect. You expecting some sort of an invasion from outer space, Mr. Jeffries? <laughs> I'm a collector. Article 2 of the Bill of Rights gives me the express... The Bill of right. Rights don't give you the right to collect what you've got here. Neither do the laws of this state. Mr. Jeffries, did you have a bazooka stolen from here? Yes, I did. It was a beauty, an M9. I was plenty put out about it. Why didn't you report it? Because you people... Because you were afraid we wouldn't be sympathetic, is that right? Are you? What else was taken? Some M6A3 rockets. A uh, 41 caliber Frontier Colt used by Billy the Kid. It was right there in that leather case. Anything else? <laughs> Isn't that enough? I mean, do you realize how much all of these things cost? Anywhere from six months to five years with time off for good behavior. I'm sure the Treasury Department will be glad to answer that question when they come by. Sun begins to shine. Marlowe, what? Hey, Gabe, come on, boy, get up. Chow time. Marlowe, what a mo. Come on, boy. Lazy critter, get yourself up here. <laughs> Can't sleep all day. You try some of this, make you feel real good. Oh, I'm hungry. Hey, boy, we're gonna have to get something straight right away. When your daddy says jump, you jump. When your daddy says eat, you eat. Now I'm saying eat. That's good, boy. Real good. My mom said you were dead. Well, do I look dead? Where are we? We're someplace where nobody can touch us. That's where we are. What do you mean? Well, can't you hear it? I mean, can't you hear that piano playing? And and that anvil ringing. It's like some kids are having a good time and, and a couple of riders are just drifting in. Can I go home whenever I want? You are home, boy. This is where we live, you and me, kid. Kid. That's, that's what they used to call me. <laughs> I think I want to go home now. Uh-uh. Got a lot of things to do. You ever shoot a gun, boy? No. No? Stupid of me to ask. Your mama wouldn't approve of that kind of thing, would she? But I got all the plans for us. All the plans. First, I got to take care of a fella that, well, he kind of threw me in prison, you know what I mean? And then you and me is going to take on something so big, the whole world is just going to stop in disbelief. Come here. What? I said, come here, boy. Jump, eat, and come here. You don't move fast enough for me. Now, look at that. What is it? What is it? That's a little angel. Little angel? That's right. That's what he used to call it. This here is the very... the very 41 caliber double-action Colt that was used and owned by Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid? Wow, is it really his? You don't believe your daddy, huh? You look at here, boy. Look at that. There it is. You notice how, how that, that handle is curved, a small, tiny kind of grip? That's because Billy had a small hand, just like... And, it, and you see them initials? You know what they stand for? W.B.? William Barney. W.B. William Barney was the kid's real name. How about that? You want to... I'll bet you do. Here, go ahead. You can touch it. Here. Oh, it's 
beautiful. Sure is. You hold it up to your ear, you can hear it, boy. It'll talk to you. I ain't fibbing. Go ahead. Now, the kid, he held that gun just the way you're holding it, boy. Oh, yeah. Close your eyes and you can see him. Ain't nobody knows him as good as I do. Did he shoot anybody with this gun? 21 men, maybe more. But he was driven to it. Mm -hmm. He was driven to it by Chisholm and, and Big Casino. Who's Big Casino? They killed old John Tunstall. John Tunstall was, was Billy's best friend and he was like a daddy to him. He treated me just like, I mean, he treated Billy just like a, like it was his own son. And they killed them all. Oh. Old Casina. Old Big Casina. I wonder why he didn't come up to the hill like he said he's gonna. He could have held them all off right from here. Yes, he could. I never understand why he didn't do that. I never will. But I'll tell you something. He made old Billy swear he'd get every one of them. Yes, it did. And he waited till they all come up the hill. And he took on every one of them. Every single one. And then finally... Finally came Big Casino. Yes, sir. Who the hell are you? It's me, Billy. Plus 11 years. Billy, huh? How'd you get in here anyway? Same way I always got in. I spent a lot of time here you never knew about. Oh, yeah. I remember now. You used to work for me. And you stole some money from my safe. Yeah, but not the way you stole. You're pretty good at foreclosing on mortgages, ain't you? You and your fancy banker friends. We better let the sheriff handle this. You move and I'll gut shoot you right where you stand, Chisholm. Chisholm? Look, what are you after? Money? There's no money here. Of course not. You wouldn't be stupid enough to keep $100,000 here. But we both do know where it is. Only you're going to be too dead to care. You stole my woman's house. You put my boy out into the street. Look, put that gun down and listen to me. The worst of all is you killed John Tunstall. What are you talking about? You're not making any sense. Will you look at me? My name is McCann. I saw him, Chisholm. I saw him laying there in the desert, face staring right into the sun. Will you look at me? My name is McCann, not Chisholm. I'm going to give you the same fair chance that I'm going to give Big Casino. You can draw any time you want. Any time. Draw, Chisholm. Now, look. I don't even have a gun. Now you do. And you got five seconds to use it. Will you look at me? My name is McCann, not Chisholm.
Owen McCann. Look, boy, I never killed anybody. You reach now, or you're a dead man. Reach. Reach. Tunstall? Yeah. Do you know him? Well, not exactly. He was a friend of Billy the Kid. You know, Chisholm was one of the old cattle kings. They say he had a lot to do with the shooting of Tunstall. What else did he tell you? He said I foreclosed on his wife's house. You're on the board of directors of the Cattlemen's Bank, aren't you? Yeah, Dobbs' wife's house was taken over by the bank, sure. What else? Something about a hundred thousand dollars, and we both know where it is. What do you mean by that? I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. The bank brings in quite a bit of cash this time of the year, mostly by train from Oklahoma City and... And Dallas, uh, that could be upwards of a hundred thousand dollars. I see. Listen, there's one more thing, Owen. We have the gun that uh, Billy Dobbs gave you to use. As a matter of fact, it's at the lab now being dusted for fingerprints. But did you get a good look at the one he used? <laughs> oh, yeah, I sure did. It was this small frontier coat. Pearl handled, 41 caliber? Yeah, it could be. You know, that kid pulled that trigger three, four, five times. That gun must have misfired at least twice. You were lucky. Yeah, lucky. Okay, Owen, thank you very much. Thanks, yes, sir. ties it up. Must be the same man. I just got the report from the lab, Sam. Yeah? The prints of Billy Dobbs and the slug they took out of McCann was homemade. Guess he's got a reloading press, huh? Hey, John. That account for your misfires. Kid was using a lead mold and didn't crib his casings tight enough. Hey, Rudy, I want you to contact the state prison so you can get me an appointment with a staff psychiatrist sometime this afternoon. And uh, call the Cattlemen's Bank. I want a list of every train that's bringing cash into this area. I'll take care of it, sir. You think he tried to hold up a train? What would you do if you were Billy the Kid? All right. Well, you're getting better. That You're getting the hang of it, ain't you? I don't think I'm very good at it. Of course you're good, boy. You hit it, didn't you? Now, you listen to your pa talk to you. He'll make it the best there is. Yes, sir. What for? What are we going to do? What are we going to do, huh? Well, how about we get us a trunk full of money, and then we take a little trip to Mexico? Mexico? That's right, boy. We get down to Sonora just in time for the fiesta. What do you think of that? What about my mother? Well, don't you worry about your mother, son. Your mom will start to see the light as soon as she realizes I ain't fooling around. I mean, when she understands that you ain't coming back there, well, she'll be all right. Now, why don't you put your mom out of your mind and... Let's get back to work, huh? We got a lot of stuff to do. Do I have to shoot this gun anymore? Yeah, you got to shoot it some more, boy. How do you expect to learn how to work it? I expect to help out your daddy. I got $30,000 in that trunk, son. And Chisholm's dead. 
Now, that means all we got to do is... is take care of Big Casino and then... throw down on that train and then we go, boy. Who's Big Casino? Well... His real name is Pat Garrett. I used to call him Big Casino and he used to call me Little Casino. We was good friends. And... In fact, we was partners. That's a long time ago, and that's before he turned against me and joined the law. Yeah, he's the one who put me in prison. And... He's a sheriff. I figure he knows we're going to hit that train. I figure he knows it, but... Yeah, well, things are going to be a little different this time. This time, I'm going to be waiting for him. I'm going to pay him. Just what I owe him. Well, it's a very interesting question. I mean, does Billy Dobbs really think that he's Billy the Kid? And I don't know. I mean, I might have seen the beginnings of uh, paranoid schizophrenia in Billy. But you see, with 1,200 prisoners, it's awfully difficult to come up with the proper treatment. Schizophrenia, you mean split personality? Yeah, that's it, basically. See, what I feel is that Billy is quarreling with his environment that is the exact and true one. Seeing what he wants to see. Exactly. Yeah. First of all, when he came here, he was a very rough boy. He was in fights, he was in, mixed up in beatings. As a matter of fact, he spent more time in the individual confinement, that's what we call solitary, mm -hmm. than any other prisoner that we have here. Then, all of a sudden, this boy starts to read. Books about the Old West. Right. Yeah, that's what I figured. That's good, Bill. You know, the sheriffs of the time, the outlaws, in particular, uh, Pat Garrett and uh, William Bonney. As a matter of fact, he read every single book that we have in here on Billy the Kid and was still asking for more. Hmm. Then, all of a sudden, this boy turns into a model prisoner. I mean, good manners, quiet. Helping out. Hey, look at this. It's made of spark plugs. Isn't yes. It? Yeah. Very, very. How about that? Uh, uh, what you were saying? Uh, tell me, what do you think made him change? I don't know. I haven't got the slightest have idea. No, idea. No. But one thing that you should know what? is that he does not communicate with anybody at all. I mean, no one. He just has gone into himself. He has just cut out the prison, his fellow convicts, myself, everything. And what makes that so difficult is that in a prison this size, a psychiatrist doesn't have time to try to get inside the mind no. of every inmate. Yeah, no, I understand that. So when he stops making trouble, you just let up on him and go on to your harder cases. Right. That's working out. I don't know. I think what I'm trying to say is this, that Billy tried to create a whole new world for himself. Mm -hmm. I mean, one that he could function in, you know, with just basic principles, like Billy the Kid. I mean, just primitive, blunt, just black and white bad. So when he hit the armored truck, that was just uh, well, sort of true to character. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that was Billy the Kid. I mean, what's an armored truck if it's not a modern counterpart of the stagecoach? And a train is a train. What about his son? Why would he take the boy? I don't know. I haven't got the slightest idea. But there is one thing I can tell you about that is that it is not good. Yeah. Because, I mean, what do you think he expects of that youngster? I mean, he could be in an awful lot of trouble. Tell me something. Did he ever say what he was going to do? I mean, where he was going to go after he left here? No, not that I recall. But I've got a pretty good hunch. Yeah. Where would Billy the Kid go? Well, he'd go somewhere away from people. Right. That's for sure, you know. I mean, maybe someplace in the country. Now, look, do you know where his parents are buried? His parents? Yeah, I think Billy said at least once that uh, his parents were buried somewhere near here. That's very interesting. Billy Dobbs' parents died when he was a very small child. He was raised in a home. Checks out, Sam. Billy was an orphan. He grew up in the state home. Here you go. Okay, thank you. Hey, J.J., where was William Bonney's mother buried? Silver City, New Mexico. I've seen her grave. What about his father? William Bonney Sr.? Yeah. I don't think Billy would be hanging around his grave. He died in Coffeyville, Kansas. Yep, here it is right here. He's buried in a cemetery on the old circular road right outside Coffeyville. Here's the information from the Cattleman's Bank. There's a train coming in with a large amount of cash at 7.05 a.m. today. Okay, hey, just wait a minute. What is it? Old circular road. Doggone it, Sam. He couldn't be in Coffeyville. Well, I thought the name sounded familiar. Take a look at that. It's a ghost town just outside of Bainesboro. 
Hey, Methuselah, the old circuit of rooms. We got one right here. Come on, let's go. Side for a horse and tire tracks. Right. Here's his reloading press. Grass primers. Black powder. Hey, JJ, take a look. Right out of 1870. Except this. The train schedule. One of today's arrivals is marked with a circle. 7.05 a.m. It's now 6. My Lord, what a morning. My Lord, what a morning. When the stars begin to fall. Boy, that engineer's gonna get the surprise of his life. What a morning. Yes, he will. Yes, you will, boy. Now, I tell you what, we only got one thing left to do, and that's to tie this here charge up. I want you to set it nice and neat right underneath the track where you are. And I'll come up later and set the cap, you hear? You think you can handle that? I guess. Will it work? Will it be able to stop the train in time, Billy? What'd you call me? Huh? What'd you call me? I just said. I'm your pa, son. You call me Pa, Dad, and nothing else, you hear me? Yes, sir. Now, we ain't got that much time, boy. Go do like I told you. And don't worry, if this don't stop the train, nothing will. Come on, get up. Gabe, you hear me? Come on, get up. Hey, kid, this ain't supposed to be like this. That train's gonna be here any minute, boy. Come on, get up. Hey, can't you hear me, boy? I'm telling you, get up. Get... Oh, boy. Hey, boy, you wrecked everything. I had me plans so long. So long I've been working on this. And you got to come along and just blow it right up there. So my plans. No. Damn. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Sam, his track's leading out here to the south. They probably seen us coming and hightailed it. No, sir. Something happened here. Here's an imprint of a body, and it's too small for a man. It's the boy. Put some flares up on that trestle. Stop the train. Ready? Take care of this one. Check around and see if you can find any more. Pete, won't you help? I can't bring no doctor here, Gabe. I, I don't dare take the chance. You can understand that, can't you, boy? I mean, I just... I can't run the chance. I did what you told me. I came alone. Let me take him. He needs a doctor. Can't be. He'd go and tell the sheriff. He'd run right away and tell Pat. Oh, please, Billy. Please, please, Billy. Please. Hey, you want to bring that sheriff down on my back, woman? Is that what you want? Please, please, Use your Billy, head. please. <laughs> that building. Well, I'll get the riot gun, but try not to use it because the boy's with him. All right. Say, who's light color car is that over there? Miss Dobbs, I reckon. Yeah, no, it's him. <sighs> JJ, stay by the radio. Good shot. Come on. you big casino that's the name billy the kid gave to pat garrett this is sam cade i think your boy's hurt in there give us a chance to come in and help him like you helped tom fight it and like you helped charlie baudry that was another time another sheriff they was your best friends and you shot him anyway never give either one of them a chance no sir pat no sir i've been waiting for this a long time Billy the Kid is long gone. Now you come out of there and you won't be hurt. That's a promise. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Big Casino, your promise ain't worth dirt. Only one way I'm coming out of here. Name it. You call off your men, and you meet me face to face, right there in the street. What's the matter, you gutless bushwhacker? You afraid to stand up to me? Huh? You ain't gonna take me prisoner, Pat. No way. No way. I trusted you once. And I ain't trusting you no more. Can you hear that, big casino? Tell me you ain't thinking what I know dang well you are thinking. He'll use what the other Billy used, a Colt 41 with handmade cartridges. Have you seen what one of them did to Owen McCann? Yeah. Well, misfired then, maybe it'll misfire again. Yeah, maybe it won't, too. You got yourself three seconds, Pat, to decide. Or else we'll just shoot it out here. Say something. 
Billy, I'm moving my men back. Sam, we can't shoot into that building, J.J. He's not thinking about his wife. He's not thinking about that youngster. I don't like it. Do you think I like it? I'll move him out. away from what's written on his forehead. What about Gabriel? What about your son? My son? You mean that kid in there? He's dead. Are you sure? Gone to dust, Pat. Just like you. Hold him in. This one's for you, Big Casino. Help me, please. He's fine. Take care of Mrs. Dobbs, will you? It's supposed to be like this, Pat. No, oh, sir. No, oh, sir. Well, it's supposed to be like that. No, oh, sir. No, oh, sir. Ain't the way it's supposed to be at all. Get on your feet, Billy. Don't let your son see you like that. Hey. Take the way it was supposed to be. Take the way it was supposed to be. No. No way, Pat. No way, Pat. This is not the way it's supposed to be, Pat. Uh-uh. No, sir. No, sir. Ain't the way it's supposed to be. It just ain't the way it's supposed to be.